in the tent. The act of the light when we study a Kabbalist text, that's clear. During a workshop, how does it work? It barely works. What, during a workshop? No, not in a workshop. Without a workshop, the light that reforms barely benefits you. That's why you can sit for 10 and 20 years and still nothing happens. Let's say we sit and read Zohar for one hour and a half. It can, you can sit for ten and a half years even. It won't do, it won't help. It will help, but in such a slow manner, like, you know, in evolution you have millions of years until things, something happens, that's how it's going to happen. Why? Because we don't correctly organize ourselves, as Kabbalists tell us. We have to be like a pattern, like a tent. And when we want to connect in the ten, and for the ten we want the light or the reforms, not for me. Where does it write that when you pray for yourself, you burn yourself, etc.? We read that. We have to draw the light that reforms for that point that we want to connect, and we can't. And then you say, this is what I want. I want the connection in the center of the ten between everyone. And so everyone points his finger, shows where we want the connection. That's the only thing we want. And bestow there, and we are forcing you. Then he's happy to do it. And he does it. About Amit's question about drawing the light during a workshop. So it turns out if I cannot really connect to a workshop and I can't come to the center of the ten, there is no, I, I, can, I can approach the study. You have no connection with the Creator. Reaching a state of a correct workshop that takes also uh, five years or twenty years? No, it doesn't have to take you five or twenty years. You can do it here and now. Why? I, I can't. You can't because you're not intending to do it. Your intention is not to do it. Who wants, who really wants to connect here? Who really gives it a heartful effort out of your heart? And I want to connect. I want my heart to, to be my desire. With all my desires, I want to be connected to them. And I'm praying along with that. As I want to connect to them, I'm praying to the Creator to help us do it. If you could imagine this thing to be that it's a very important thing for you, God forbid you're a person standing before life or death. How much would he care about it? How much would he think about his request and all the time work on it? And how, uh, how this request would change in him throughout the day? Maybe I should say it this way. Maybe I should ask that way. In what way can I nonetheless make him hear what I want from him? Maybe he can change his mind, etc. That's what you need. But how? You have to help your friends. Each should help his friend. Set a good example, set a bad example, all these things, but you have to do it. And still, you're sitting, and yeah, okay, one more lesson, one more lesson. Yes? What am I supposed to do? Me and everyone who listen to the one who is talking, what are we really supposed to do in order to penetrate his heart? What you read in the verses, it's not me sitting and speaking. We're taking the essence, the most emotional essence, the closest thing for us. We take it from the Kabbalists and it has to awaken, I don't know, to awaken the, the dead. That's what we bring you here in these excerpts. What you should do? Wake up a little bit. 